a songwriter for many, many years. I started writing songs when I was 15. Uh, I heard an old Bob Dylan record, the new Nobel Laureate Bob Dylan. Uh, and I realized that uh, his appeal to me was his lyrics. And for me, my music's always been more about lyrics than music. I love writing the music, but I feel like I'm better at writing lyrics. And so uh, when I write a song, I always begin with a lyric idea. I never start with the music. Because for me, I, I, I write the lyrics almost like a poem. And I try to match the music to the words. Uh, that's the only way I can write songs. But I, I, I started very young. I was 15 years old. I'm 60 years old now. So I've, I've written for 45 years, and I've written, I've recorded maybe 19 CDs or so. But for me, it's just a, a wonderful form of self-expression. I incorporate, I, I was writing poetry, very bad poetry, when I was young. And I, so the written word always appealed to me. And the idea of matching it with music was just taking it to a completely new place that was very magical. And, and to sit down with, and I think uh, you both know when you make films how difficult it is. You start with nothing, you, a blank page, and you have to create something that will move people, something unique. And there's only a few themes. I was talking with Emma yesterday about this. You know, love, death, loss, revenge, maybe two or three more. There's nothing else to write about. But you have to, as an artist, find something unique to write about something everyone's heard about all their lives and everyone can relate to. So, I think what I'm trying to say is, when I write songs, I'm dealing with maybe only two or three major themes, but I'm, it's always a challenge to find a unique way. And it can't be unique just for me. It has to be relatable to someone who hears the song. So that's the challenge. And it's, it's a lot of fun, it's very difficult. And the more you write, the more difficult it gets because you're writing about similar things over and over again. But the challenge is, uh, as I said, to find something, just a little twist or a new color or something that makes it interesting to people so they can relate because everybody has the same experiences but you you still have to make it your own it's like a signature everybody has a signature but every signature is different so uh, it's kind of a strange explanation but I hope I made myself clear <laughs> until we meet again I will be longing for you until we meet again. I have no hope. Having my song in a movie was a blast. That's that's a that's a been a high point for me, and I have uh, Dario and, and Emma to thank. Uh, I could never thank them enough. But it's a wonderful thing because it takes. When I spoke earlier about having a poem and then adding music, it's like taking a 2D film and making it a 3D film. When you take a song and you put it in a movie, it's like a 4D film, <laughs> if there was such a thing. Because uh, suddenly your song that you wrote in your room by yourself, it was a very... All my songs are personal, obviously. But you hope that other people find something in them. But when the, film, when the song ends up in a film, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's taken to an, another place. And it's, the beauty of a film is that it's a performance that's on film, so it, it travels. I don't have to go anywhere, the film travels. Like, as we're speaking, your film was playing in Australia. So it, it's the beauty of your work as a life of its own, suddenly. I don't have to perform. But the other thing about having a the song in a film is it has a context. Now it belongs to your film, and it, and it belongs to your characters. So suddenly, the characters Dario created are being embellished by the songs I wrote. So there's this marriage of creative energy. You're in Italy, I'm here in Polsbo, we couldn't be farther apart, 
we only met a few years ago, and suddenly we have this very intimate connection. In, in, in the movie, and my music, it's like a marriage, uh, it's like an arranged marriage that works. <laughs> <laughs> and so hopefully it'll be a long and happy marriage and we'll have many children together. <laughs> <laughs>
shit.